Hi there, this is Chris, the Geek Figure fan, and today I'm just giving you a quick roundup of the announcements that Hasbro have made coming out of Star Wars Day. So, May the 4th, it's always some big announcements that come out, there's always some big drops, and so I'm just going to really quickly go through some of what I think are the more interesting announcements with a couple of the pictures that have been released, although there aren't a great deal of images, so it will be a really quick just just run through of what we've seen today. So I'm going to start here with Star Wars The Black Series and then Axe Wove's premium helmet. So Axe Wove's is a character that you will have seen in the Mandalorian live action series. It's a really premium electronic helmet, looks really cool, I'm sure it would go with a lot of the collections of helmets that have come out recently. Star Wars Hasbro pumping out these helmets because everybody loves them. So yeah, that looks really excellent. And and just quickly moving on to a vintage collection release, probably my favourite release actually. It is a Wicket and Nisa. Oh god, I don't know if I'm getting that pronunciation right. You'll have to tell me in the comments. Nisa. Because this is from the animated Ewok series, and I haven't actually seen it, so who knows if I'm if I'm butchering that pronunciation. I'm assuming it's a silent K. So Wicket and Nisa, and I think this looks really, really cool. There's a couple of cool little accessories that come with them. On that photo, it does look like Wicket's eyes are glowing, though. He looks super evil. I'm not sure about that. Moving back into Black series, we've got a Darth Malgus. This is also an excellent figure. Something from the Old Republic video game, and I used to I used to love anything that was Old Republic. Uh, that Knights so of the Old Republic game that came out in the mid 2000s. I had that on the original Xbox. Loved it to bits. So really excited for this figure. It's an excellent looking design. Moving on to General Grievous. This one is from the Battlefront 2 video game supposedly. So it's a slightly battle damaged Grievous. Not a lot to say on this figure. It's fairly similar to the Grievouses that have come before it. From what I can tell it's another Black Series Grievous. So from what I can tell it's just some changes to the paintwork really. But um, no one can complain with having another General Grievous in their collection because he's awesome. Back into Vintage Collection, we've got a Luke Skywalker and Grogu. So this will also be from that Mandalorian overarching story. This is from the Book of Boba Fett. We obviously, we saw Luke Skywalker in Mandalorian Season 2 collect Grogu and take him away to train him in the ways of the Jedi. So this is a scene from the Book of Boba Fett reenacted through the Vintage Collection. And again, no one can argue with more Grogu and a Luke Skywalker toy. Back to Black Series again, we've got another Ewok. We've got another Wicket. So I really, really like the look of this figure. I'm hoping that it'll stay to scale to the other figures, and I imagine it will do. But at the same time, for me, it would need a lot of accessories to make it worth the money. Because if I was just getting one three-inch figure without a great deal of other bits and pieces bulking out that set, I don't think I'd be too pleased with that. So I'll have to wait and see. I would have expected an Ewok to come as a double to really make it feel like it was worth the money. But, it, you know, it's only an initial release. We might see more with it. Who knows? It's a nice looking figure, though. This Chewbacca that's coming up next looks really good. Black Series Chewbacca. There have been a lot of the same sort of Wookiee figures that are just repaints of old Wookiee designs from previously in the Black Series. But there's something about this face. People tell me in the comments if I'm wrong. But I think that looks like a different face mould on that. You know, he looks... He looks really stern. He looks like he's poised, you know, he's concentrating, ready for action, loving the, the chain around his neck. That's a really cool attention to detail as well. So so that's quite an exciting figure. Although, again, if we had enough Chewbacca's, you tell me. I don't know if I need more than one in my collection. We've now got another Ashoka coming out. This one's inspired by the Clone Wars animated series, but Ashoka is big right now. We've got the TV series coming out soon, so I'm not surprised that they're trying to capitalise on that character and get another figure out. Fairly similar, again, from the Clone Wars animated series. We've got a Phase 2 clone trooper as well. I I'm not wowed by this one. It's a clone trooper. I I'm not the biggest on the Stormtroopers. If I've got one, I've got enough. But there are some collectors that love to have this, you know, pre-built army of clone troopers and have them all be individual characters they're all their little tiny differences so i get that and i understand i can't imagine it'll be a bestseller of theirs but there's nothing wrong with it i think the tamura morrison face mold on it looks really good definitely looks close to the actor so yeah i've got no problems with that this next one the magna guard really like that another one again inspired by tv series this one by the clone wars i'm sure i i, I don't know if anyone else is playing star wars jedi survivor at the moment i'm absolutely loving it and there are magna guards in the game i'm sure i've been fighting magna guards because i'm pretty sure cal says at some point 
I can't believe I've just fought a Magna Guard. Really hard to beat. So yeah, I really like that. And moving on, we've got we've got a Mando. We've got a Dinger in. This one, again, I'm assuming is from the Book of Boba Fett. Well, in fact, it does say it's from the Book of Boba Fett. But really, this could be from from any of the series, really. He's there with the Darksaber. It's a nice looking figure. I don't know how different it is to the Mandos from previous releases. I can't, I can't tell there that there are a great deal of differences. Maybe there's a little bit more wear to his cape from this photo. Maybe a little bit more wear and tear on some of the armour as well. Well, but I'd have to have an in-hand look to tell you whether there's a great deal of difference. And then moving away from Black Series again, we do have another vintage collection figure, and this one is the Grand Inquisitor. It's a really nice looking figure actually, this little uh, Grand Inquisitor figure. It's clean, uh, the design of the armour looks really nice, so yeah, I'm quite impressed with that. So that's a quick roundup of, of some of the biggest announcements that have come out of Star Wars Day, May the 4th. There's some really interesting figures, just quite nice ones. There's a couple that pff, I could take or leave. And I think that's it with the Star Wars Black Series, is you get to a point where you can't really collect all of them and the same with the vintage collection as well you you collect what you're drawn to the most and i think there's three or four figures in there that i would be drawn to you tell me in the comments below do you do you, are there figures there that you really like we'll just have to wait and see when uh, a few more images come out um, maybe on a, on the next stream we'll get to see some more in hand looks at them so that's it really for this one thank you so much for for watching uh, if you've enjoyed the video please give it a like and subscribe to my channel as well for future updates i'm always trying to drop news videos now as well just for latest announcements of hasbro figures because it's hasbro that that it's kind of the world that i'm sitting in at the moment not either with star wars the black series but not quite so much mostly it's the indiana jones adventure series that i'm looking at at the moment and if you hit that subscribe button there will be more reviews coming in the next two or three days have a look back on my back catalog i've got two or three reviews out for the adventure series there's a couple of other figures on there but there's also a black series figure as well there's the revenge of the jedi vader to have a look at i'll have popped links to both of those videos up on the top so thanks ever so much for your time everybody take care see you soon Bye.